Hey guys, so today I want to talk about how to make money from Battle for Zendikar and I made a video previous and I guess this week will be Battle for Zendikar because the news came out of the Fetchlands the, and I'll have a different video, a more MTG financing video about the Fetchlands as well as the four art lands and what they mean. So let me just do some simple math. I looked up um, the price of the, Zend the original Zendikar four art lands and a sealed packet, so a sealed packet means you get 40. I actually will go uh, show you one of the, what they look like. So in a fat pack, you get like this, and there's 40 lands, every single art type is included. So if this was a sealed pack, I really wish I did have a sealed packet of Zendikar with me, um, you would be able to get like five of the, five of every type, including islands, which is a little more valuable. And the reason I wanna go over this one is I want to uh, make sure you guys quite understand why Zendikar is going to be a very special set if they the fat packs are like they used to be. Uh, if it if the fat packs include a 40 packet uh, for our land you are now looking that can sell between 20 to 25 dollars quite easily move very sealed because people like it sealed they want it for cubed etc etc. Well, a fat pack only costs $28.50. For me, at least, and that's my price, I do buy quite a bit of them. I am going to buy a lot of them. That's how I got the price down that low. But yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. So <laughs> let's say it costs, you can sell it for $22, right? Uh, and you're buying a fat pack for $28. Just the land alone covers most of the fat pack. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Even if you buy the fat pack for... $35, um, $22 off it makes it a $12, $13 fat pack for, and then a box and a dice, let's assume you can somehow sell them for two bucks, and then the guide, whatever. You can sell everything else but, but the packs for two bucks. You look at a $35 price range, which a lot of you can get. I think, I believe Dave and Adams always has fat packs for $32, $32.95. So let's take Dave and Adams. I don't want to take my case because it's a little lower range, but I do want you to know that if you buy in volume, it does exist. It does work out that way. So assuming, and this is a assumption, I don't know if it's true, that every fat pack comes with a land of 44 land cards sealed where you would have one of each, and that's very valuable to people. Uh, people like to have one of each. They are collectors. They like it have it sealed. They like to unseal it themselves. Uh, it's the same with opening packs, except they know what they're getting. So anyway, 35 bucks, you buy one. This one can sell, let's say it can sell for 25 because it's extremely popular, or it can trade for 25. You are paying $10 for nine packs. Yeah, $10 for nine packs. That was what happened in original Zendikar. Uh, if you remember original Zendikar, you're going to remember something kind of funny about it is Original Zendikar was a money, like it was so much like, it was so much cast, oh yeah, go this way. It was so much cast money everywhere because you had four art lands, you had foil four art lands worth, I don't know what a foil island's worth right now, 20, 25 bucks, maybe more. And you had all of these cards, and then you had the Zendikar fetch lands and the foil Zendikar fetch lands at rare. <laughs> and so you're looking at pretty much the most valuable set in the, com I guess, the modern era of Magic the Gathering. And it's crazy. Um, you cannot go, if you bought a fat pack, you, it's really difficult for you to lose value in fat pack if you had that fat pack today. As can be, if, even if you didn't open the fat pack, the fat pack right now would be a hundred plus dollars, easy. And when you look at it, and when you say to yourself, huh, this is kind of weird, blah, 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 like, yeah, I, I mean, when a set comes out and it's that good, like, Cons of Tarkir, in my opinion, is a very good set. Like, if you open enough of it, so variance is not um, a factor, I mean, when, I'm, when you open one box, it's probably, you buy a higher price, a much higher price, and secondly, it, there's more variance. You can pull good or you can pull bad. But if you open a case, the variance goes significantly down, and the price of each box goes significantly down, in my experience, at least. So I would definitely say, uh, I, Battle for Zendikar is not worth, I mean, it is possible for you to make long-term, I guess, magic money on it, and 
yeah, I mean, I don't feel like it's a bad set to buy. I don't feel like a fat pack of this set, if it includes, you know, this 40 land, four art packet, you can go wrong. Any, and then there's four art, four, I mean, just foils of four art lands that can randomly pop up, that pop up more often. So if you've ever drafted, you know that if you go through a box, you pretty much have at least two to four foil lands, right? But those foil lands are now gonna be full art foils. So instead of being like pretty much worthless, they're gonna be extremely valuable, they're at least initially like four or five bucks, long-term 10, 20, uh, $25. So I'm not too worried that the fetch lands are not in it. I'm a little annoyed uh, because of what it's actually gonna to do to the fetch land price, but it doesn't, it does not concern me from what I want to achieve, which is to buy a lot of Zendikar, battle for Zendikar, and store it. And have it, you know, sit in these boxes and one day go to Strike Zone Online and say, hey, I have 2,000 4 art lands and they're all sealed, do you want them? And then Strike Zone Online would probably be like, yeah, yeah, we want them. And then I'll be able to recoup a lot of the money and that's assuming, I mean, it's so, crazy if the four lands are going to be in these packets again because honestly those packets if you go on ebay check out the price of a packet right now i don't i haven't done enough homework to know like how well they sell but i feel like they sell pretty easy at 20 dollars, at least 20 25 uh, they sell pretty easy uh, maybe they're a little lower now because of announcement etc etc and the price is a little deflated but overall I mean, foil full art lands, 40 of them, you know, every fat pack, it, you cannot, there's a tremendous amount of guaranteed value in the set, which is good. Um, you don't see that very often. So I would say Battle for Zendikar is definitely a set that if you're newer and you want to save your money for, I still, I still, uh, I made a, in, I made a video saying that Battle for Zendikar is going to be a very valuable set just because the fetch lands are not in them does not change my opinion at all of how valuable the set can be if you are a newer player. Save your money, don't buy MTG uh, Origins or whatever, uh, buy Battle for Zendikar because if you buy fat packs, it's hard to do poorly. Especially if you don't open those land, which I never open any of those land. So yeah, bye guys.